Welcome to Mr. K's presentation on photosynthesis. If you're watching this, you're either reviewing or you were absent from class or you just can't get enough of Mr. K's voice. So today we're going to be looking at photosynthesis and the first question that we ask is what is it? What is photosynthesis? And I'm sure you've heard the term before and you may have some ideas about what it means, but let's actually break apart that word and see what the different meanings of the word roots are. So the first part of the word photo means light, okay, as in photograph or photography, um, that means light. So obviously photosynthesis has something to do with light. The second part of the word, synthesis, means putting together or assembling or making. So photosynthesis, when we combine those two together, we're not putting together light. What it actually means is it means using light to make food. I'll give you a second to jot that down. It means using light to make food. So that making or putting together is the synthesis part. Now, one common misconception that many students and many adults have is that they think plants turn sunlight into food, and that's actually not how it works, as we'll learn uh, in a bit. Um, it's not a direct conversion. Turning, you can't turn of energy from the sun into food. What, what is happening is that energy from the sun is used to power a process where plants can make food. And we're going to take a closer look uh, as we go through here. And uh, photosynthesis occurs in green plants and in algae. So you'll notice I'm underlining certain words. This is to help you with those guided notes that you probably have in front of you. So we have some pictures. I know you know what green plants look like, but there's a wide variety. There's many, many different types of plants and algae that undergo photosynthesis. And there's my favorite right there. There's some lovely algae here. So when we look at the process, we see photosynthesis is a two-stage process, right? Photosynthesis is a two-stage process. Uh, so this is, doesn't happen all at once. It actually happens in two different steps. In the first step, energy from the sun is captured in the plant's chloroplast, filled with the pigment chlorophyll. So I'm going to underline the words to help you with your guided notes here. And you recall chloroplast from when we learned about cell organelles. So this is the role that they play in photosynthesis. The first role that they have is that they actually capture energy from the sun. And we're going to see a picture here, some lovely chloroplasts. Probably looks very similar to the Elodea cells that we observed during our class. In stage two, in stage two, water from the roots, so you know plants take in water through their roots, and carbon dioxide from openings in the leaf called stomata undergo a series of reactions powered by energy from the first stage. So this is the second step. The first step was the capturing of energy. The second step is where water and carbon dioxide, these are the raw materials of photosynthesis, they're going to undergo a series of reactions. It's not just one reaction, it's a series of reactions, and you'll learn about those later on in your school career. But those reactions need the energy that was captured in the first stage. 
So next we have a nice picture of stomata. This is an electron micrograph of stomata, these little openings in the leaves where the carbon dioxide enters. So those are the raw materials. The raw materials are water and carbon dioxide, and the products of these reactions include sugars, glucose, or food, and oxygen. So not only is photosynthesis producing food or glucose, it's also producing oxygen, which is very important for all the living things on the planet. So what we have next is a little diagram here that is going to kind of illustrate this process here. Um, let's see if I can shrink that. I guess I don't need to. Um, so here's the sun. We've got the sun here. All right. Shines its light down on the plant where the chlorophyll traps the light energy. Remember, that's that first stage. We're trapping the energy, harnessing the energy to use for the second stage. Then we have water absorbed through the roots and carbon dioxide that enters through those stomata, those openings in the leaves. We have a series of reactions that take place. Those reactions are powered by this energy that was captured from the sun. And then our products are oxygen, which is given off into the air for organisms like you and I to use and the plants themselves and also sugar, glucose, the whole purpose for photosynthesis to occur, to make food. And at times, uh, sugars are sometimes used directly. Other times, they're also converted into other types of carbohydrates or starches where the food is stored, or perhaps it might be converted into a form to use to make cell walls. But this is how, this is kind of the whole process in a nutshell here. All right. Next, we have the photosynthesis equation. And yes, you have to memorize this equation. This is one of those barf back moments where you need to just learn it, memorize it, and be able to barf it back to me. So you're going to see different iterations of this. You're going to see three different ways here. Okay, so this is this. There's not three equations. We have basically three ways of writing the same equation. Um, the first equation here is using words, all right? So we have carbon dioxide and water. These are our raw materials. And then we have this arrow. This arrow means yields. If you were to, if you were to read the arrow, you would say when you're reading this equation, you would say carbon dioxide plus water using light energy yields carbohydrates or sugar or glucose plus oxygen, okay? So that's the other part that gets filled in on your guided notes. So this is using words. The next one is going to use some chemical symbols, right? We're going to use our chemical symbols. Um, you might recognize some of these from the periodic table of the elements. We're going to use our chemical symbols to show this. So th this is the same exact equation. It's just written in a different way. So CO2, that's carbon dioxide. I know you know that H2O is water, so our raw materials, carbon dioxide, CO2, plus H2O, using light energy captured by chlorophyll, yields C6H12O6. That is the chemical formula for glucose, or sugar, plus O2. That is our oxygen. So again, the second equation is saying the exact same thing as the first, just using the chemical symbols rather than the words. Now on to the third one, and this is the one that you need to know. Put a little star there next to it. This is the balanced chemical equation. And so what we mean by balance is that this actually shows how many of each molecule are used in the reaction to create uh, or to show what happens, how many of each of the different types of molecules are used in the reaction, all right? So if you look here, this is just like in math class. This is called the coefficient. 
All right, in math class, you might see something like 6x. Well, what this is is 6CO2. So this means that there are six molecules of carbon dioxide plus six molecules of water, H2O. Again, using light energy and chlorophyll yields C6H12O6. Now, there's no coefficient here, so that means that's one molecule of glucose plus six molecules of oxygen. So we call this a balanced chemical equation because if you were to add up the number of each type of atom on either side of the arrow, just like an equation in math, you will see that there's the same number. So for example here, here I have six, let me erase this clutter here. Here I have, if I look at carbon, I have six atoms of carbon on this side of the arrow. On this side of the arrow, I have six atoms of carbon. If I were to look at my oxygen, here I have six times two. In these six molecules of carbon dioxide, there are six times two or 12 atoms of oxygen plus six atoms of oxygen here. So on this side of the equation, I have 12 plus 6, or 18 atoms of oxygen. On this side, I have 6 atoms of oxygen in my glucose. And then here, I have 6 times 2, or 12, in my oxygen. So again, I have 18 on this side. And the last element here is my hydrogen. For hydrogen, I have 6 times 2 hydrogen, so that would be 12 on this side of the equation. And on this side of the equation, I have 12 as well, right in that molecule of glucose. So that's the balanced equation. That's the one you actually need to know. All right, and moving on to everybody's favorite part of this presentation. is the photosynthesis song. If you want to know which I'm not sure is going to be captured, but you can find this on YouTube. Sunlight, and make cellulose. Every plant can do this fundamental process. And we can call this photosynthesis. Unlike me and you, plants need CO2. And they make oxygen that stops us turning blue. Every plant can do this fundamental process. And we can call this photosynthesis. It's a miracle how all the chlorophyll captures sunlight in the leaves of the plants and the trees. A plant of any size can do it if it tries, but we're not green so we can't photosynthesize. Every plant can do this fundamental process, and we can call this photosynthesis. It's a miracle how all the chlorophyll captures sunlight in the leaves of the plants and the trees. Every plant can do this fundamental process, and we can call this photosynthesis. Every plant can do this fundamental process, and we can call this photosynthesis. Photosynthesis.